Live from the Harare International Conference Center, the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe, in conjunction with Jacaranda Culture and Media Corporation. We want to see a vibrant, professional, and sustainable cultural and creative industry. For the 21st edition of the National Arts Merit Awards, the Zimbabwe's biggest night for the arts. And our show is set to have an electric vibe. We are broadcasting from the 825 Innovation Hub in Harare and today we unveil the nominees for NAMA 21. And the 21st NAMA nominees are... The vision of the National Arts Council as of now. We have said we want to see a vibrant, professional and sustainable cultural and creative industries by 2030. Why by 2030? It's because we wanted to dovetail with the national aspirations of ensuring that we create a middle income a society by 2030. And as National Arts Council, it is our desire to build on the legacy left by my predecessors. This is where everything will be. Good copper, general entry to the entrance. Now. It's going to be a massive activity. Hi, my name is Napoleon Nyani. I am the executive director of the National Arts Merit Awards. Um, I also double up as the producer. So um, for NAMA, I work with JCMC. So JCMC is the organization that uh, got the contract to be the event managers for, for NAMA. So they contracted me to uh, come and lead the team that produces the event. Um, it's a very interesting uh, position because I get to interact with the National Arts Council and then we've also managed to build a team at JCMC uh, that works. So if I uh, maybe give you a little bit of a brief on the team that I work with at JCMC. Um, where do I start? Maybe let's start with admin. Um, Tanasha Kitchen uh, heads up admin for NAMA. Um, so that's all our contracts, paperwork of, you know, who's who's in charge of what uh, in terms of service providers, who's providing us what in terms of sponsors, and what are they getting in return. So keeping all those tabs um, is quite a job. All right. All right. All right. So my name is Tinashe Kitchen. I am the Administrative Director for the National Arts Merit Award. So Jacaranda Culture Media Corporation uh, was formed in 2014. Our mission when we were formed was to become the best event management company in Zimbabwe focusing on arts and culture. We realized that there was a gap in the market where we saw amazing talent all over the country, uh, be it in singing, in dance, in poetry, whatever talent you, th you can think of. And we thought we needed to create a platform or a company that can encompass all of these young people. So through those ideas, we came up with ideas like Dream Star Zimbabwe, which is one of the nation's biggest or bigger uh, talent search competitions. And we used that platform to look for young talent and to nurture that talent. And through our links with the Embassy of China and different partners as well, we managed to send young people to China over the years to perform, to learn, to study, and to expand their horizons as well. So through that mission, we've also grown as a company and we've grown in different ways as well. So basically, as the administrative director for the NAMAs, my main roles included uh, dealing with our sponsors, uh, making sure that all contractual obligations were met, um, ensuring that we did what we we're supposed to do as an event management company. Um, we're very grateful for our different sponsors like Old Mutual, Seamus, NMB Bank, uh, who have come through to make this event possible. Very 
Timuombe, Timuombe, is singer Shandi Swena Devo. Timuombe, Timuombe, is singer Dise Malevo. Spito, Mamike, Gabu, Nama. On the creative side of things, um, the team is quite big. Oh man, you know, when we work on Nama, we work with so many different people. I mean, uh, there's Quentin, there's Eddie, there's Panache, Kudzi, there's Kalino, Kadani, Joey Lin, Rutendo, there's Michelle. Oh man, of course there's guys from National Arts Council, those guys are always on our case. And they've also helped us out a lot. There's so many people, you know, when you put me on the spot, I can't even remember now. Um, so our, our music team uh, consisted of uh, Gabs Morgan, who was the music producer together with Kalino. Um, so those, they were the main music producers. And then you've got Kadani. Tafadzo Kadani was the band director, but he had to also be involved in the music production because the music is very band based. So we had to record the band beforehand. So these three gentlemen would work together to put the music together. And then on the night, um, Kadani would uh, then direct the band and direct the flow of the music. So what I'm saying is, unless if we're saying, is he had to farm Evanes, he wanted to be here. Mambo, he No, we can still automate the tempo. Uh, my name is Gabriel Morgan, uh, aka Golden Fingers, and I'm a music producer, sound engineer for NAMA. And the NAMA, I work with uh, our director, Napoleon Yani, and uh, artist curator, uh, Martin Chaboka. Uh, that's where I get my directives from. I want it to be as authentic, as authentically made as possible. Can I choose these are my extra elements? Yes, to be a Obviously, working hand in hand with Martin uh, on selecting the artists that we think can be, you know, can can, can give us a, a wonderful performances of uh, on, on the Namas. Obviously, depending on the theme of that year. Um, we've got on the creative direction of the actual show, uh, Martin Chabuka was heading uh, the creative of the show. So that's putting together the choreography, actually, from the time of conceptualizing the designs. I mean, we, we sit together with the, with the whole team and think about which artists would be relevant this year, which art genres should we uh, put spotlight on, um, because NAMA covers, you know, a wide spectrum of art genres from music, dance, poetry, uh, comedy, uh, sculptors, that's uh, visual arts, uh, painters, book writers, media personalities, etc, etc. I started uh, off as a dancer with the numbers. Um, but then that was before I actually uh, won my two awards. I won one for best no, dancer and one for best dance group. Um, and then after that one, I was called to be an assistant for the um, artist manager that was there, uh, Edric, I think. Yeah, I was assisting Edric. Uh, then the year after that, uh, when uh, Leonard Mapum had left, I was actually told to be one of the artist managers there. But then it had a plus to it because I was uh, also a creative director. So we had to think of everything that happens on stage and before just um, managing the artists themselves. Okay, my name is Ndomzi. My full name is Ndomuke Ishichpendo. I've been working with NAMA for two years now. And the first edition that I worked with NAMA on was uh, the 20th edition, and then I was a dancer. And then the 21st edition, I was an artist liaison, working hand in hand with Martin.
if I'm to pick 2020, the f- 21st edition was more challenging, but I loved it because I was working in house. And that made it more exciting. So it was a learning curve for me. I learned quite a lot. And、um, my duty, my role was to make sure that the artists are well fed, the welfare of the artists, they get their transport money, they get home safe. So I was in charge of taking TT and Nicole from school, bringing them here. Amara, s a i n t Flo, j u n t a l all those people. So it was up and down. I think I lost weight during that time. These guys getting on my nerves. Hello, my name is Rumbizai with an AI, and I am the floor manager for arguably one of the best award shows in Zimbabwe. As the floor manager of Nama 21, Wow, that was a very big task.、Um, it took months and months of preparation.、Uh, just to tell you a bit about what floor management is floor management means you ensure that everything flows. So it's F L O O R, floor management, but it actually means F L O W, floor management, which means you're responsible for making sure each and every department works as effectively as they possibly can. You are their support system and you make sure you r e their eyes where they can't see. For example, security,、um, from security, you check into ushers, from ushers, you make sure that whoever's supposed to be supporting the stage manager is where they're supposed to be and doing what they're supposed to be doing. I also felt empowered because no job was too big for me as a woman.、Uh, the NAMA director never felt that this should not be given to Rumbi or it should not be given to Joylene or to Michelle because they're ladies. As you know, a lot of people would want to get this job or any job at the National Arts and Merits Awards. And as a woman, to be given the opportunity to work while other young girls watch me work, I think it's not only a privilege and an honor, but、I've、hopefully it will encourage other young women out there that you can do any job and anything in Zimbabwe. So I've done a budget of everything that we need. I send it to Timasha, I also send it to you. Okay.、Um, can, we book, can we book Jenna Sunda? Yes, we can.、Yeah. To give a few examples, there's a lady called Rutendo, and she's responsible for making sure all the artists are dressed on time and they have their proper outfits. And in, to ensure that I support Rutendo, I have to make sure that her runners, the people that are meant to help her, make sure they get all the artists in one place are doing their job. Because with Nama, unlike some other events, you are dealing with With a lot of artists. So it's a lot of admin in each and every department. Hi, I'm Ruti. I am the costumes department manager for the National Arts Merits Awards, and I was assisted by Mimi. This year was actually pretty challenging. I really don't want us to miss with those, with those pets. So, I worked with Zimbabwe's biggest designers, and we had one designer that was from across our borders. So, the one across our borders was, was Butterfly Couture. And then I worked with Zagoisha, and he came in at the last minute because at that time it was a bit hectic. Some designers pulled out and the like, which caused so much stress. And then I worked with Minister of White Linen and Big Locomotive, which was also a bit of an experience because Big Locomotive came in. Two weeks before the show, but because of his professionalism and the way he's so tied to the artist, he managed to get things done in quick time. And Minister w i d e n e n he did most of the sets, which, like I say, was a bit of a challenge because the schedules to get the artists come try on and then changing of concepts and everything was a bit crazy, but craziness builds 
beauty. So Saturday is the day, so we expect um, great fireworks. We believe in our event managers that you've prepared something very extraordinary. We have something we've never seen in the past years. It's, it's always been the norm and the, it's been the flag bearers in that respect. Uh, it'll be jam-packed, you won't be able to leave your seat. Uh, we've always tried to compress it as much as we can. Uh, but the nature of NAMA is because we're awarding all, I mean, not all, but a significant number of sectors within the arts. Um, it, 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 you, you, you can't cut it short. People need to be celebrated. And I would like to express a special thank you to the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe for their vision and commitment to making the NAMA Awards a reason for all of us to be proud. So that uh, we're really excited about what's happening. We're in support of the artists and we believe that from the presentations that have been made, I'm sure you can tell the rigor that has been put in place in terms of organization. We know that is going to be a great occasion. Um, thank you very much. Oh, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. It's hectic. It's a tough season. We are a few days from the event and it gets, it gets harder and harder. It gets more difficult. You, you know, you've got service providers that need payments. You've got artists that, you know, have to go for rehearsals. Uh, some of the artists don't really respect rehearsals. They don't think it's a big deal. But, you know, for the standard that we're trying to set, for where we're trying to go, and the bar that we're trying to push for Zimbabwean events, the rehearsals are critical. But then again, you've also got the issue of payment, because... Artists will then say, okay, so you want us to come for five rehearsals. I need you to pay me for it. NAMA is a, the event itself is pretty difficult to put together, you know. But in terms of what we need, we need people. Simple as that. We need people, we need people with the right minds, with the right hearts, who are willing to go above and beyond. And the amount of commitment that's needed for us to be able to put this together is is exceptional and we need exceptional human beings um, and I, 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 I'll hazard to say we've been blessed as JCMC and um, with the Arts Council to have the right kind of people with the right kind of mindset who are willing to push boundaries and try and make this the best thing for the arts sector in the country. So we provide uh, from stage a lighting, sound, uh, LED screens, uh, joinery, which is creating of a stage. Normally, it's it's close to your hair before Nama. So um, we have been doing Nama for the last five years. We've been working with uh, Jacaranda. Nama has improved a lot from the days we started. We have seen a lot of improvements. Uh, we have worked with uh, people who are more creative. Uh, they take their time to think. Um, they bring their concepts on table. Then we start to work on them. Like I said, we have started to work on the next NAMA. When you last said, I paid zero. And don't just a screen to render the same thing to review the actual stage. So you see a band. Are you excited about the Namas? Yeah, man, yeah. So, mm. I'm already talking about the Namas. You already know what it is. Only 10. Yeah, I just made it. You already know what it is. Namas 21st edition. The humble, the humble, the humble, the humble, the humble. The humble. Uh, um, so, I'm, 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 I'm going to be dealing a lot with service providers. One way video, one way my lights, one way stage, one way set up, UTC, barricades, blah, 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 blah. So, if Michelle follows up on any of the things we've agreed in here, please note she's following up on my behalf.
My name is Michelle Dube. I am the assistant to the NAMA Executive Director and I double as the guest relations manager for NAMA as well. So my role as the guest relations manager, I was in charge of the artists and everyone who was coming from out of Harare, making sure that their accommodation and transport is taken care of, as well as the, all the award presenters, be it from Harare and from outside of Harare, I had to make sure that they are well taken care of, they have their scripts and everything is going well. So I've worked for NAMA for two editions now, NAMA 20 and NAMA 21. NAMA 20 was a bit more easy. It was my first time, but it was easier because I was just working as the assistant to the director. But for NAMA 21, I had more roles that I had um, been given responsibility for. I was working as the assistant as well as the guest relations manager. It was exciting, but it was also um, a bit more challenging because there was a lot that had to be done, and I was also working hand in hand, hand in hand with the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe, making sure that partly the nominees uh, are taken care of, and yeah, the award presenters and um, artists. So I was working with Martin, he was the artist liaison. I was working with Rutendo, she was in charge of costumes, which um, pulled into my department as some of the artists that I was taking care of. She was in charge of dressing them. I was working with Joeline, who was in charge of red carpet, to make sure that all the people that I was working in know how to, the flow of the red carpet. So yeah, working with those people made my job a bit more easier. And I feel honored that such roles have been given to women and young, young women specifically because it's a great opportunity to work as a woman, to work in a field of arts. It's something that is empowering and something that is inciting and exciting as well. So yeah, it was a great opportunity. That'll be good. Thank you. So I wish you all the best. Okay. Shamar, this guy now is going to Nanjing uh, Art University by 28. You know that? Next year. Next year. I don't know. Next year, he's going to Nanjing. We've got a uh, someone who heads up our creative studio, which is the guys that do all the designs, they do all the videos, including this video. <laughs> so that's uh, Quinton. Uh, Quinton Nyoni is in charge of that department. We are the visual communications of the National Art Merit Awards. Specifically, our job starts about five to six months before the show, uh, which means we do all the visual communications of the NAMA. So pertaining specifically number 21, before the show, we did all the posters, we did the logo that actually was communicating unlocking dreams. So therefore, hence you see the keyhole. Yeah, so we had a lot of brainstorming, like working hand in hand with the director of the numbers, Mr. Napoleon Yani. So he was guiding us through like how we were to communicate like the, the theme, which is unlocking dreams visually for this year. Coming up with a theme is always an interesting process because, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's creative brainstorming. So we, we, we usually, you know, start with, okay, we've got these four things that are significant about this year. For example, it was number 21. Number 21, 21 years in general is, you know, a time of coming of age for a young person. But generally, 21 is considered, you're an adult, you are now allowed to do all adult things that you are not allowed to do when you were a child. Um, so we, we start to think of all those themes. 
okay? And we start putting them together to say, okay, so what does that mean? If that's what it means for a human being, what, what does it mean for an institution like the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe? What does it mean for a brand like NAMA? What does it mean for the artists that NAMA represents or NAMA uh, awards or rewards for their work? So we start to now, you know, piece those themes together, piece those themes together. Turning 21 often means coming of age. It means maturity. For some, this means getting a key and a night on the town. For an event like NAMA, it means so many things to so many people. So that's that's how the theme came about. And yeah, it was quite a process. And then to then get from there to the actual awards show. Tonight is an important day in the history of the National Arts Council of Zimbabwe and the history of NAMA. Yes, every year we host the nominees uh, reception, which is the eve of now. Welcome to Aran, welcome to now. It's true, the NAMA director, Napoleon Nyani, was under a lot of pressure a lot of the time. There are so many people who made him angry, but he could not let it out on them. So I'm the one who took most of that anger and that lashing out. Sometimes when I can't really lash out at the team um, because, you know, we're, we're trying to achieve something, but I'm angry with someone or with something and I'm like, ah, so she would get it. <laughs> The two major things that are stressful with NAMA is people and money. <laughs> money is never enough and we never managed with in the last in the four years that I've um, been in charge we've not managed to raise the amount that we needed for our budget to be able to achieve the creative things that we would have planned we've not been able to raise enough money. The frustration there is, okay, this, we've raised, we've tried to raise the bar. We've tried to, to really push the professionalism, push the integrity, get the artists to be treated well and to, you know, to, to want to be part of this thing. We've tried to get the public to be treated well and to get entertainment value and to want to be part of this thing. Um, can that now translate to the corporate world? You know, it has. We've registered quite some good success with getting sponsorship and support from the corporate world. But unfortunately, it's still not enough because we have to continuously raise the bar every year. We have to continuously do amazing things. The budget that we had last year is no longer enough for this year and it will not be enough for next year. Um, for Zimbabwe, we are coming from a place where um, because of a lot of economic challenges, we fell behind in terms of pageantry, in terms of event production, we fell behind. So we are trying to catch up with the rest of the world in terms of doing world-class events that get someone to be like, wow. One of our goals has been we want people from other African countries. I mean, you know, forget the West or the East. We want people from other, journalists from other African countries to apply and say, I would like to come and cover these awards. I'd like to even just attend them. I'd like to be associated with them. The same way Zimbabweans want to go for shows in Nigeria, want to go for shows in South Africa, want to go for shows in other African countries, Kenya, ETC. We want other Africans to also look at this and feel like, this is so dope. This is such good quality. This looks so entertaining. This looks like such a great lifestyle event. I want to be there too. You know, as a celebrity or as, 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 as a normal person, I feel like this, there'll be value in me attending this event. That's what we've been trying to do. For us to be able to do that, I think we need 10 years of continuous improvement. Yes, we've done four, and we've been improving with each year, but we need another six of raising the bar every year, bar up, 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 and then we can plateau and become a bit more predictable. Like the Grammys. The Grammys are not, they're not really trying to do too many new things. 
because the Grammys are the Grammys. We know there's going to be spectacular performance, and then there'll be this, and they'll probably do something outside, and then they'll probably do something where they merge two artists, and then they'll probably do something like this. Yeah, we expect it, but it's still entertaining. We still like it because the Grammy brand is strong enough, right? We need to be able to get the brand to be strong enough, to be predictable, but still entertaining. We're not there yet. And we need the corporate support to be able to get there. So money is the number one most frustrating thing. Number two is the people. When I say people, I'm not saying that, you know, working with, I mean, the, the, the people will be slacking or anything, but it's just the, 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 the drama and the politics of making people come together to one coercive unit that can work in unity, in unison, towards one goal. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem performed by Dian Kumar, Adrian Ma, and Mimi Tarukwan. And to those that are joining us live or on the television set, how are you doing? I hope I find you well this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, we are turning 21. Just look at your neighbor and say, happy 21. Talk about what you're doing. All right, all right, hey, yo. Welcome to the numbers 2023. I'm Loki, and I'm Mr. 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 And I am the stage director. My assistant is my boss. Our oh, duty is included in ensuring that all the props that are meant to be on stage are ready and are on stage um, on time. And um, our duties also included ensuring that the presenters that will present the gong are there on standby and are there to present the correct gongs and certificates, as well as also ensuring that um, the models that are supposed to be accompanying them are there on time and ensuring that everything is in place. Not only that, um, we also in worked with uh, the artists that were performing as well as the dancers. So our duty also included ensuring that we manage their time, the time they go on stage as well as the time they go off stage. And um, we also made sure that uh, the stage was clear when it needed to be clear and also all the microphones were in place and um, everything that needed to be on stage was perfect. All right, stage management, I was working with Eddie. Mm, yeah, he made my job easier. Why? Uh, because he was the one who, who to kill me. Uh, I was not killed, but kill. I was, as I was going about looking for artists, he was the one to inform me that, you know what, the next act is St. Lo, um, Leo Magos, etc., etc. With someone who was in charge of the uh, uh, writing of the full program, so that's the script for the show. Our shows are scripted um, because we 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 we've been trying to migrate the Nama uh, show into a TV show rather than a live show. You know where you've got 
a couple of thousands of people that come to attend and enjoy the show and everyone else watching on TV is like watching, you know, from outside watching something that happened. We're trying to make it more of a TV show. The people that are watching live at the event are extras, if you may want to call it. Their, 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 their job there is to really fill up the room and give us ambience and give us those screens and give us the nice crowd shots for TV. Okay, so in 2018, the first time that I voiced the awards, I was just handed a script and I had no input whatsoever into what was being said. And I felt like it was a little bit bland. There was more to these personalities that we were having come up on stage. So 2019, when I was then given the platform to have an input into the way the whole script flowed, I was given the reins to write the script. It was just such an amazing experience, very scary, <laughs> but also amazing because you're writing for, for seasoned artists, you're writing for people like Leroy Gopal, you're writing for people like Mboma Hawks, you're, you're writing for all of these people and you're thinking to yourself, okay, I need to understand how they speak in their daily lives. So going onto their social media pages, finding out how does he usually talk in his daily life? What is his taste? Classic nominee's party. Yeah. T-shirt and shack pants. Yeah. One of my dirty rehearsal sneakers. Go! What's up? <laughs> so that when he gets on stage, what can he say that will get the audience laughing? What can he say that is relevant to people in Zimbabwe and even abroad at the time? Have you ever heard of speed painting? What is speed painting? I've only heard of speed dating, so I hope we can combine the two. Is the one who's been heading up our scripting. She's uh, been doing it for the last three years, for the last three, actually four editions of Nama. Um, she you know, once we've done the whole creative and, okay, so this is the plan and this is the program of events, she then takes that up and scripts it for the MCs, uh, whatever they say is scripted, um, the award presenters that come on stage, whatever they say is scripted as well. Um, we then even script uh, the, 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 the interludes. So we, we, we've got three types of hosts on the night. We've got the main MC, we've got the co-MC, and then we've got the voice MC. So the voice MC is really the bedrock. She ties everything together. Um, she's also our fallback. If something happens to the MC, of the MC misses his cue, you've got the voice announcer or the voice host to be able to jump in because, you know, they will have the full script and they will understand the full uh, movement of the show. 2019 being the first year that I did this, I then had to make sure that I had my finger on the pulse, including what is happening. I remember around that time is when we had a lot of half, uh, a lot of people talking about um, Zimuto's pictures. And so I decided to jump on that, <laughs> make a joke about that, and have Leroy say that on stage. Lo and behold, a year later, we had Wimbai Zimoto releasing a music video with Leroy Gopal as the love interest. So for me, I was like, okay, I may not have, it may not have been, but there's a little bit of me that, that had some sense of victory in it. I was like, yay! Do get ready, warm up your hands, let's take off our hats to some of the most exclusive people here in Zimbabwe. But of course, that's all we're gonna take off. Everything else to take off, we'll leave that up to Wimbai Zimoto. Because we are addressing issues that are current, things people are talking about, want to say, but can't really say. But now you have this person on stage and they're able to say these things because somebody went and researched, somebody went and put it down in a script in a way that you can say. So these are all fun things that I thought we can incorporate into our national awards. We don't need to be boring all the time. We can have our minister being able to deliver a speech in a way that is, oh, beautiful. And surrounded by 
fun and quirky comments. Do you think they're going to give us a heads up when we get up? I'm like, I don't know. And the next thing, she's up on stage. So and good evening to all of you here. the way that she's um, introduced on stage, for instance, she is somebody that we are all, I remember watching her on TV and thinking, yay, Zimbabwe's made it to the Olympics. But these are things we don't really, really talk about when she's being introduced. So these are things I felt like, we have to talk about this. I mean, she's not just a politician. This is somebody that is actually inspirational in other spheres. So taking all of these things in and writing them for the different people that step onto the Nama stage was just something I thought, well, jackpot. <laughs> Um, seeing things come to life, months and months of work coming to life was just amazing in its own. And um, from the red carpet, for instance, having people coming out and dressing up the way that they did, respecting the event in the way that they did, that for me, that was highlight number one. I felt like um, we have truly progressed as Zimbabweans where we understand what an events, an awards event is supposed to look like and to make sure that we come dressed the part. Yeah, what we saw a lot is people were very serious about what they looked like on the red carpet. Um, there was so much glitz, so much glam, so much wow. Like there's some outfits we saw we've never seen on any Zimbabwean red carpet for an awards show or movie premiere or the like. So I, I like to big up the people on the, the creativity that they brought to the red carpet. And the performances, watching some of the performances like Excuse, for instance, I've long been a fan of his and just the nostalgia of going back and thinking of how I've grown up listening to this man's music because it, his music came up at a time when I was also just starting to discover music on my own as a teenager. So it felt like, oh my goodness, like really? It was, it was something that was really nice to, to see. Watching all the performances, seeing the medleys, um, the different artists coming together, that was, it was a beautiful moment. How long it took getting this visual aesthetic done, getting the logos, getting the graphics, everything that you saw. This took about five to six to seven months, if I can say. So, and this year, like, I think we really hit the nail on the head, considering hashtag unlocking dreams. So we really brought the whole thing to life. You know, the director of the Arts Council, Mr. Nicholas Moyo, always mentions this, that the awards show is about the nominees and the winners. Yes, we do all these other things. We do the entertainment, we do the red carpet, we do all the lifestyle things, but the show is about the nominees and the winners. So on the night of the awards, it's all about the graphics, which is the graphic that announces the uh, nominees and the graphic that announces the winners. So throughout the night, I mean, there's, there's about 40 awards that are handed out on the night. Throughout the night, every time it says the nominees are, those nominees should come. That graphic should come on time. It sounds so simple, but it's something that is tricky. So many awards shows fumble there. How many times have you heard people on stage saying, oh, we've got a technical glitch? It happens all the time. This year, we did not have a single technical glitch because the guy who was running the graphics, that's Quinton, he was sitting there attentive for four hours waiting to just someone had to click the button when a performance is happening the background that complements the costumes someone presses the buttons for that to happen and i happen to be on the hot seat and considering the pressure that comes with the job i would do it again i think specifically i'd like to mention steve um Zhao. is the chairman of uh African Empire Group, which is where JCMC falls under. So, you know, is my boss, so to say. 
Steve Jao has always believed in me because just him agreeing for me to be part of the Nama team itself means so much. With the four Namas that we've uh, managed to produce as JCMC, I've mentioned earlier that we've not been able to meet the budget with sponsorship. Um, yes, at times we then have to cut things and say, okay, so this concept that we wanted to do, okay, now we can't have someone arrive in a plane and this, we can't do this, we can't do this, we can't do this, let's cut this, cut this, cut this, cut this, cut this. Um, but we can't cut everything. Even after cutting, if we still fall short, the money has to come from somewhere, right? So it's been a, it's been a, it's been a difficult one um, for JCMC, um, but I would like to, you know, commend the chairman of JCMC. He's, that's Steve. His passion for the arts is unbelievable. My name is Zivanai Soko Steve Zhao. I came to Zimbabwe, I came to Zimbabwe almost 30 years. It is my honor to have a chance to work with a Zimbabwe artist, especially with a young artist. It is my honor. And also it is honor of Jakarta Media Culture Media Corporation to work with National Arts Council to present a such wonderful show to Zimbabwe. Thank you, CCMC team. Thank you, my teams. He will go and borrow money. <laughs> and he'll say, oh, I'll pay it, you know, bijana bijana, bit by bit throughout the year. But as long as this thing happens, you know, um, which has been a, a great investment in the arts. I mean, many people will, will have their things to say, whether it's to criticize the show or to, but there is a general consensus that the standard has been raised. Five years is not short time. From 2019, JCMC take over as an event manager for NAMA. I believe we have tried our best. Um, if Zimbabwe needed, JCMC will be there. If you need us, continue, NAMA will be there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of that can be attributed to the selfless work of Steve. Amazing, fantastic aura. This is Nama21. Hashtag unlocking dreams. Hashtag unlocking dreams. Unlocking dreams. Hashtag unlocking dreams. Wow. Unlocking dreams. Unlocking dreams. Unlocking dreams. Unlocking dreams. Unlocking dreams.
Shoulder.